but it takes me a long time for me to get there. So I know that once my respect is gone for you, I've I am confident and I will stand on the hill that I've done everything I could to try and make it work. And I shouldn't have to really try and make anything work. It should work. Granted, times are going to come where you have difficulties, you have um, sh- hard decisions to make with your significant other. Fine, you know, we'll conquer that hill when we get to it. But on a regular day basis, you're trying to make things work just for the sake of being with that person. It's not worth it because you're going to resent them in the end. And that is what ended up happening with me. And I wish it didn't. I don't like to resent people. And I don't like to hold people, have people have that part of me like, dang, I don't want to see this person. I don't want to hear this person. Breath, don't breathe my air. I don't want to have to get there with anybody because why? It's really not worth it. So I'm still, uh, you know, working on that aspect of just letting it go and letting it be and letting him do his thing and be happy and live a fruitful life. But yeah, that was it. The, the, it was the losing respect thing. I just, it was gone. So it was time to go. Did time play a factor in it? Like as in you were in there, the relationship for three years was the fact that it's been three years. um, What I'm trying to say is, did you know a lot sooner that, and then you just stayed because it was like, you know, it's been three years, you know? Yeah. I knew after the first um, criminal activity that he... Oh, there's criminal activities <laughs> in here. Okay. Stop. I won't call it criminal activities. We're not about to sound, say whatever that, that is. makes it sound crazy. <laughs> but I, I knew after the first um, scandalous activity mm. that he did within the relationship, because after that we did break up for a brief moment in time, and then we ended up getting back together like the crackhead that I was. So, you know, I think that's after normal. that time, <laughs> I should have known better because I always said it to myself. And this is why I, I understand when people say, don't say never because you don't know until you're in that position. I would always be the one. I would never stay with a cheating man. I would never blah, blah, blah. And here I was, boo-boo the fool with the cheating man. So That was the activity? Yes, Shit, you got me thinking this man had you smuggled drugs. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. So absolutely he cheated, not. he cheated. Yeah, four times. And I stayed. And I, I stayed. mean <clears throat> so yeah. 